Allegra, are you at the pizzeria? Are we all set to open? Is the dough ready? Is everyone there? Is Tommy there yet? Mom, yes, everything is ready. Relax, okay? Tommy's here too. All right, honey, it's just... It's opening night for the Victory Theater and we're going to be swamped before and after. Opening night? Forget about opening night, Mom. It's Anne Hathaway's triumphant return to the theater. Anne Hathaway? What do I care about Anne Hathaway? I'm trying not to run out of cheese here, Allegra. Oh, we have plenty of cheese. What are you so worried about that for anyway? It's not like a movie star is going to be eating at our pizza joint. Are you kidding, Mom? Look at all the autographed photos on the wall. Tons of famous people have eaten here. Yeah, well, most of those people are dead, and that was the past when Grandpa Jojo ran the place. Nobody comes in to pay their respects to his daughter anymore. Oh, come on, that's not true. Even her own son. But that's a whole other story. Mom, really? Are you going to go into tonight still upset about Jake? The boy comes home from college. He doesn't even stop to see his parents. What's that about? I'm sure that he'll be here tonight to help. Oh, yeah, sure. If he can't even come kiss and hug his dear mother, why would he come out to help the family pizzeria? Um, because he'd be helping me out? Well, I'm glad that he and his sister are so close. I just wish that it was the same with us. Well, what do you expect, Mom? You called his boyfriend a hoodlum. I did not call him a hoodlum. I called him a thug. Get it right. Well, either way, I don't know why you'd be surprised he wouldn't bring him around again. Look, I'm sorry that I'm concerned about my son and who he hangs out with, and that I'm sometimes a little too honest. Oh, a little too honest? Is that your only crime here? Honey, maybe when you get to be a little bit older, you'll gain the wisdom of discernment too. The what? What does that mean? I'm saying that sometimes you can just say things about a person, okay? Not okay, Mom. That is totally messed up. It's prejudice. It is not prejudice. It's judging a book by its cover. Well, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I won't apologize for wanting my boy to stay away from people who are no good. Well, you should let him make his own decisions is all I'm saying. I am letting him make his own decisions, but it doesn't mean I have to like them. Yeah, well, you two need to be civil with each other tonight if we're all going to get through it, okay? We'll be fine, okay, hun? Let's just focus on the task at hand. Not your brother's drama, not Anne Hathaway, just serving up great pies. All right, Valentina, if you say so. Ugh, please, call me mom if I've told you once, Allegra. Jake? Jake, where are you? We're getting swamped in here, and I thought you told your sister that you were coming to help us out. Yeah, well, sorry, Valentina, but something came up. What? Something came up? What possibly could have come up? And would you please call me Mom? What is with you two? I have to take Lorenzo uptown, all right? Uptown? Why? Why do you care? That's none of your business. <gasps> I care because I'm your mother, Jake, because I want to know that you're safe and that you're okay. Oh yeah, sure you do. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I know how much you hate me hanging around thugs like Lorenzo. Ugh, would you please just... What? Please just what, Mom? Nothing, all right? Were you just gonna tell me to get over it? You were, weren't you? That's what you were gonna tell me, to just stop my whining and get over it. I wasn't going to say get over it, but... The stop your whining part is pretty catchy. What the hell is wrong with you? Why can't you just be supportive of me? I am supportive of you, honey. Who do you think is paying for that college? That's not what I mean. I mean supportive of the decisions that I make for myself, no matter what they are. Now, how does that make any sense in the world, Jake? If you felt like amputating your arm, am I supposed to be supportive of that? Well, yeah, if it's something that I really want to do and it's going to make me happy. Absolutely you should be supportive then. What kind of a parent wouldn't dad would be? Jake, I guarantee you that your father would not be supportive of you amputating your arm or anything else. Yeah, he would. You don't know. You don't know how he feels about Lorenzo, do you? I... Look, Jake. What? Does he hate him too or something? Nobody hates anybody. Whatever, this is stupid. Jake... I need you to come in and help us out tonight, please? Okay? We can talk about everything else later. 
talk about everything else as in you're going to apologize to Lorenzo and I for being such a jerk last time? Well, I, I didn't go that far. Well then sorry, but I'm not coming in. I told you I have to take him uptown. But can't he just take the train? No, he has to see his cousin right away. Jake, if you come in right now, I'll pay you $500. Maybe I will when you get your head out of your butt. That's it, Jake. You're... you're... I'm what, Mom? Grounded? I'm 20 years old. You can't ground me. You... you just wait until your father comes home from his trip, young man. Oh, yeah, I'm really scared. Whatever, Valentina. I gotta go. Call me when you get a clue. Damn it, Jake, get in here right now. We're getting low on cheese and Old Earl is eating the spicy sausage. Jake! Oh, Don, I am freaking out. I don't know what to do. Help me, Don, help me. Whoa, whoa, honey. Take a deep breath. What's going on? I'm sorry to bother you on your trip. I know you're busy. It's just things are falling apart at the pizzeria and with Jake and... Honey, it's all right. Just slow down. One thing at a time, okay? Okay, okay. Well, things are just really crazy at the pizzeria, right? There's a play and Anne Hathaway, and we're running low on cheese. Tommy may be having a panic attack. Did you say Anne Hathaway? And old Earl is here, and he's eating the spicy sausage, and you know how sick he gets when he eats the spicy sausage. But he's old and forgets, and... And things with Jake are, well, not good. What do you mean? What's wrong? Well, he was supposed to come in and help us tonight, and I really need him to, but now he's refusing to come in. Refusing to come in? Why is he refusing? He can't do that. He's part of this family, and that is a family pizzeria, damn it! He says he has to take Lorenzo uptown to see his cousin or something. Well, that sounds like trouble to me. Yeah, I know. Ugh, I really hate that he blames you for not liking that kid when it's actually both of us. Yeah, well, I think he may be under the impression that you don't like him now either. What? How did he get that idea? Um, I don't know. It just kind of happened, though. Well, that's ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. You will not believe the amount of people in here, Don. There are people lined up outside. Well, maybe I can talk to him. Maybe I can get him to come down and help you out. I don't know, Don. You can try, but he's pretty dug in. Well, why don't you talk to your dad? Ask him for advice. I should probably be asking him about the cheese anyway. If there's anyone who could spread cheese out to make it last, it was your father. But I don't know if I should be asking him for advice about Jake, though. You know how he feels about, um... Gay people? Well, yeah, he's an old-school Italian guy and all. They aren't as, um, progressive. Yeah, well, maybe it's best to just stick to the cheese. Hey, Dad, how are you doing? Eh, what can I say? I'm an old man and my team is losing. Oh, um, sorry to hear that. How's Mom doing? Your mother is fine. Hey, what are you doing texting me? Isn't it opening night or something? Isn't the pizzeria packed? Yeah, Dad, that's why I'm texting you. I need serious help. Why? What's going on? Well, we are beginning to run dangerously low on cheese. On cheese? How come? Didn't you order extra? You know you have to do that before a big, busy night, right? I know, and I did. Just not enough, I guess. I've been a little distracted. Well, for now, just spread it a little thin. But these are important people coming in here. They're slumming it for us. We need to impress them. Slumming it in our pizzeria? How dare you call it that? Nobody slums it at JoJo's Pizza. Okay, okay, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Well, how the hell else could you have meant it, Valentina? I'm sorry, Dad, okay? Well, why can't Jake just go out and buy some more cheese at the supermarket? It ain't the good stuff, but it'll have to do for now. Well, um, that's the other thing, Dad. Jake isn't here. He isn't there? What do you mean, he isn't there? Just what I said, Dad. He was supposed to come in tonight, since he's in town and all. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You told me. Him and his friend, Lorenzo. Right, right, his friend. Well, I guess something, um, came up. Something came up? What do you mean, something came up? Well, I guess he had to help Lorenzo out or something. But... 
What about his family? He's supposed to be helping his family out. I know, but you know how young men are, stubborn as all hell. You were one once, remember? I was one, sure, but I always took care of my family. Well, um, he's a little bit mad at me, is all. Mad at you? For what? What does he have to be mad at you about? He's just, well, sometimes I don't approve of his decisions, is all. I'm his mom, you know. That's to be expected, right? Of course it is, but he's got to grow up and get over it. People have disagreements. That doesn't mean you let the family business go to hell in a handbasket. I know, Dad, I know. Well, I'm going to call him. No, Dad, please do not call him. That will only make things worse in the long run. Come on, maybe he just needs a little manly talking to. Apparently that dad of his ain't doing the job when he's actually in town. No, Dad, don't. Please, promise me you won't, okay? I have enough on my plate right now without the two of you fighting. Okay, okay, fine. Go ahead, it's your funeral. And it's my pizza shop too, though. You don't own it anymore, Dad. I do. I still have shares. I'll talk to you later. Remember, darling, spread that cheese. Jake, where are you? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, Mom, everything is fine, jeez. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, honey, I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. And why wouldn't I be okay, because I'm with some thug? No, because you're my son and I worry about you. Oh, is that why? Honey, are you absolutely sure that you can't come in and help us tonight? I told you, I'm busy with Lorenzo tonight, I can't help you. Okay, well, could you do us at least one favor? No, I told you I can't. But it's just an errand, okay? It's not going to take up a lot of your time. Well, what is it? It's cheese. It's cheese? Yeah, we're running dangerously low on cheese, and I need you to go to the supermarket and get some for us. But you're going to use supermarket cheese on our pizza? We have to, Jake. We have no other choice. And since when is it our pizza, anyway? I thought that you didn't want to have anything to do with the family business anymore. Well, I don't. But I still care about the quality of the pizza. But why? Why would you? Because. It's still my family, and I want the business to succeed. Okay, well, you can be integral to that success if you just help us out tonight. Did you get Lorenzo to his cousin's? We're just hanging out there. He just had to pick something up. What did he have to pick up? That's none of your business, Mom. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. Yeah, sure you didn't. So, do you think you could maybe bring the cheese, please? We need, like, a lot of it. Ugh, fine, okay? I'll bring you your stupid cheese, but I'm not paying for it. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Jake. I owe you big, honey. Ugh, don't call me honey, Valentina. And of course you don't have to pay for it. Just stop by here and I'll give you some money. Fine, fine. We'll be right there. So, you are bringing Lorenzo? Yes, Mom. Do you have some sort of problem with that? No, nope. Absolutely not. Okay, well, that's good because it would be nice if you treated him with some respect tonight considering he's going to be helping us out too. Well, I, I don't know how he would be helping, but... Do you want me to come and help you or not? Yes, yes. Come and help me, please, and thank Lorenzo for me, too. He says you're welcome. For what, I don't know, but okay, see you soon. Hey, hun, how's it going with the cheese? Are we a cheeseless pizza now? No, Don, believe it or not, your son came through for us. My son? My son? What did he do? He brought us a bunch of cheese from the supermarket. Ooh, supermarket cheese. Yippee. Yeah, well, it's the best we can do for right now under the circumstances. So how's it doing? Did you two make up? I don't know about makeup, but he decided to stay, actually. Really? He's working? He's helping out? Um, no. He and Lorenzo are sitting in the corner waiting to see if Anne Hathaway shows up. Oh, well, at least you brought the cheese, I guess. Small victories, baby steps... So, how's business? Still swamped? Still swamped. Luckily, things are running a little bit smoother. At least for now. So, how many members of the Illuminati do you think you've seen there tonight? 
Oh, at least two. I saw their membership cards when they were getting out their wallets. So, Jake is with Lorenzo, huh? Oh, yes, yeah, sitting right over there looking at their phones. Well, actually, it's just Jake looking at his phone. Lorenzo's just kind of looking around wildly. Looking around wildly? Like how? Like he's on drugs or something? I don't know. I didn't say that. Just like maybe he's freaked out by the amount of people in the room or something. How's old Earl doing? Did he quit with the spicy sausage? Yeah, that's another problem. Old Earl quit with the spicy sausage, but now it's catching up with him and he won't come out of the bathroom. Oh no, and we only have... Yeah, that's right. One. Has anyone checked on him to make sure that he's okay? Yeah, and he just keeps saying, just a minute, just a minute. Wow. Yeah, well, at least we have all of our ingredients back. And Jake is actually there. That's at least a start. He's not really speaking to me, but it's... something. Valentina, did you get the cheese situation sorted out? Did you go to the supermarket? Yeah, yeah, Dad, we went. We got it covered. Actually, um, you'll be happy to know that Jake took charge of the situation. Jake? My grandson Jake? Who would rather be driving around with his buddy Lorenzo? That Jake? Um, yeah, that one. Well, I'll be. So the two of you made up then, I love to hear that. Oh, well, um... We didn't exactly make up, but he at least helped us. Yeah, well, I can't take all the credit, but... What do you mean? Why would you take all the credit? Well, I know that I promised you I wouldn't call him, but I was just so upset with him that I kind of did. Ugh, Dad, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Don't worry, though. We had a nice chat. Did he say anything about it? No, clearly not. Oh, well, uh... Well, that kind of hurts my feelings. I thought it would be a memorable grandfather-grandson chat. Maybe it was. I don't know, Dad. He's here, after all. You didn't upset him more, at least. But still, I asked you not to tell him, and you did. That's not cool, Dad. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I betrayed your trust. Yeah, you did. But all's well that ends well, right? I don't know if anything is going to end well just yet. That Lorenzo kid is making me really nervous, to be honest. Why? What's he doing? Well, he and Jake are sitting in the corner over there, and Lorenzo is just kind of... looking around. Looking around? Like how? I don't know. Like he may be... scooping the place out. You mean, like he's casing the joint? I don't know. Maybe. Hold up, honey. Could you possibly be stereotyping this young man? What do you mean? You know, profiling him because you think he isn't good enough for your son. Wait, what? Come on, you don't think I knew? But earlier you called him his friend. Yeah, well, I didn't want to show my whole hand just yet, Valentina. How long have you known? I've always known, are you kidding? Your mother too. But, but you don't have a problem with it? It took some getting used to, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe I'm mellowing in my old age, I don't know. But I say live and let live, you know? Wow, Dad, I, I must say that I'm shocked. Oh, well thanks a lot for being shocked that your old man isn't a bigot. Well, I'm sorry, it's just your upbringing and all, and some of the things you said when I was growing up. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, I was an ignorant young man, what can I say? Now I'm just a foolish old one. But you aren't ignorant anymore? I've learned a lot and forgot a lot, but one thing I do know is that if Jake came in with that cheese tonight, he clearly loves his family and wants the best for it. I know he does, and I just hope he knows that I want what's best for him, too. He'll figure it out someday. That is, if he has any sense in him. Allegra, are you okay? Yeah, Mom, we're okay. We're hiding in the back in the walk-in freezer. Where are you? In the broom closet. Oh my god, what is happening out there? Can you see anything? I can see through a little crack in the door, sort of. Well, what's happening? Lorenzo is pointing the gun at Tommy, telling him to open the cash register, screaming about getting the safe. Well, is Tommy doing it? No, he's just standing there, shaking. 
Oh my god, I can't believe this, Mom. You were right all along. Jake's boyfriend is a thug. Well, I don't take any pleasure in it, considering my pizzeria is being robbed right now. What's Jake doing? Is he okay? He's just hiding under the table like everyone else. Well, at least he isn't joining in. Oh my god, Allegra. What? What is it? I think your movie star lady just came in. What? Anne Hathaway? She just walked in? Yeah, with some other people. Wow, she's gorgeous. What's happening? Is Lorenzo taking her hostage? Oh yeah, and ripping every last piece of jewelry off of her. That son of a... Now he's going around taking everybody else's stuff too. Wallets everything. Well, I hope he doesn't find you, considering how he feels about you trying to ruin his relationship and all. Something tells me that that relationship is over now, Allegra. Oh my god, Tommy still can't open the drawer. I, I can hear Lorenzo screaming at him. Uh, no, that's not Lorenzo, honey. Uh, that's everybody. What's going on out there? Well, it's all over, but you, uh, you may want to stay in there for a little while. What are you talking about, Valentina? Oh, honey, call me mom and, well... Old Earl has finally come out of the bathroom, and he overflowed the toilet. Oh my god! Yeah, there's water rushing into the dining room, and everybody's running out. Oh, gross! Is Anne okay? I think they scooped her up and got her out of there pretty quick. I can't say the same for Lorenzo. He's, a uh, how should I say, down in it, and being held there by your brother. Well... I guess we're going to have to sell the place now. I better call the police. Get out of there before you freeze to death. I can't believe this. Valentina? What is all of this on the news about a robbery at our restaurant? Oh, uh, hey, Dad. I was just about to call you, actually. Well, what in the hell happened? I was right, and you were wrong. That's what happened, but... I can't say I'm taking any pleasure in it. Please, just explain yourself. It was Lorenzo, Dad. He tried to rob the place. Oh, so the kid was casing the joint. I was right about that. Well, it was our Jake that tackled him and saved the day. That is, with a little help from Earl and his digestive situation. Is that old fart still eating the spicy sausage? I told him to cut that out 35 years ago. Yeah, well, I guess he forgot, the poor guy. So what did he do, stink up the place with his sausage gas? Um, something like that. So it was Lorenzo who tried to rip the place off in the end? Yep, can you believe it? Turns out what he was picking up at his cousin's house uptown was the gun. Wow, what a dumbass, huh? It's not like we couldn't have identified him. I'm hoping that now Jake understands that it wasn't his decisions I was objecting to. It was, um... Okay, yeah, it, it was his decision. I knew that kid was no good from the start. What can I say? A mother knows. I guess I kind of doubted you there, too, for a minute. Sorry about that. It's okay, Dad. You may be my dad, but you're still a man. Hey, Mom. Wow, you called me Mom. Thanks, I guess. How are you feeling? Crappy. Yeah, I think we all kind of are. I'll be by the restaurant in a little bit to help you clean up some more. Well, I'd really appreciate it. We'll all be here. Your dad just got back into town this morning, and your grandpa's here even. Ugh, grandpa? I don't know if I want to see him. Why not? Well, I just don't want to have to answer questions of his about Lorenzo, you know? Honey, I think you may find your grandpa Jojo to be a little more, um, enlightened than you think. Uh, really? Do you think so? I know so. You know his opinion about me? You've talked to him about it? Let's just leave it for now at your grandpa loving you and being cooler than you think, okay? Well, okay, I guess. So, Lorenzo is downtown, huh? Yeah, and his cousin said he isn't going to bail him out either. Not after he got caught with that gun. He doesn't want to be anywhere near him. Honey, I'm not going to say I was right, but... Maybe, in the future. I know, Mom. I don't know what I was blinded by, but I guess I made a bad decision. It's okay, honey. You're young. We all make them. Usually they don't end in situations where the family business is robbed, but... 
thanks for accepting me back into the family, Mom. Oh, honey, you were never away. Lorenzo was charged with armed robbery, and due to the involvement of a celebrity, the incident gained worldwide attention. However, because of this, he was made an example of and was given 12 years in prison. Jake and Valentina now get along much better, and she's become very close with his new boyfriend Silvio, a Sunday school teacher. JoJo's Pizza's newfound notoriety led to a boom in business, and they have since opened a second location. And they finally have a new autograph on the wall.